Elaine Tom Sahara, Shakari Richardson, Sharika Jackson, and Dina Asher Smith clash. So, will there be fast times in Eugene, Oregon? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please, hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, which is at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts after this. We do sports analysis where we break down and look at the races and then we take a look at your comments. So stay to the end. You just might hear from yourself. Are you ready? Yep. Good to go. On May 28th at the Hayward Field Stadium in Eugene, Oregon at the Prefontaine Classic 2022, one of the most anticipated women's 100 meter lineup takes place including four of the best in the world as we speak. This, of course, includes Dina Asher Smith of the United Kingdom, Sharika Jackson of Jamaica, better known as a superwoman, Shakari Richardson of the United States, and, of course, the world's fastest woman and second fastest all time, Elaine Thompson-Hera. So let's take a brief look at all of these uh, athletes' last 100-meter and see if we should expect fast times in Eugene. At the recently held Mueller Birmingham Diamond League, Dina Asher Smith, in front of a home crowd, had a photo finish win over Jamaica's Sharika Jackson, running a time of 11.11 into a ze minus 0 0.1 meters per second win. wind. Asha Smith, who is the United Kingdom's fastest woman over both the 100 and 200 meters, won a very narrow victory ahead of Sherika Jackson and Daryl Nita. She said in an interview after, It's my first 100 for the season. It's a long season, so we're easing our way into it, and it was good. So, there was a very strong field. I could have done a few things differently. If I am being picky, but I'm very happy to win in this temperature and against this field. Being a British, I wanted to come to Birmingham in this beautiful new stadium and put on a show. As Asha Smith stated, it's very early in the season. It was our season opener, so one would not have expected a very, very fast time as well as the temperature. But it was a photo finish uh, ahead of um, Sherika Jackson, who, of course, ran 11 point one two to take second place and so let's take a look at sherika jackson very same race at the Mueller birmingham diamond league recently her last 100 meters Now, Sharika Jackson had a very average start, if not a bad start, in this race and had to fight her way through. At the very end, had, had there been even half a meter more, she would have won this race. Uh, but it's still, again, very early in the season. Everybody is sort of getting their legs under them. So, and of course, the temperature was not the best. Uh, Jackson actually said in an interview after she said, uh, Jackson revealed after the race that it was a, a little bit chilly for her liking um she was still pleased she said it was actually a good race i never get the start i wanted but it's all a work in progress and i'm definitely happy which is exactly what we said it, it she this is very early in the season it's cold and she got a terrible start but she, i thought she was remarkable getting back to dina asher smith and like i said had there been a half a meter more she would have won this race though so obviously she knows she needs to work on that start all right Jackson went on to say, this is not my type of weather, but it's my job when I'm competing and I just came here focused on what I needed to do. The track feels good. It's the first time coming out here and it's good ahead of the Commonwealth Games, which means she's probably going to be running in the Commonwealth Games. So now take, let's take a look at Shakari, which is, uh, who finally um, opened her season at the Duval, Duval County Challenge, even with appalling weather. 
where some athletes including Aaron Knight decided not to compete Shakari Richardson went ahead and finally opened her season running in the semi-finals and finals of the women's 100 meters Richardson who had pulled out of her previous three scheduled meetings finally raced over the weekend um, at the 2022 Duval County Challenge clocking 11.37 in the semi-finals this while running into a minus 1.5 uh, meters per second win then returned to post 11.27 running into a minus 0 0.1 meters per second in the finals to win The truth is, given the rain and the wind, um, 11.27 is actually a decent uh, winning time. It was just really atrocious. So it's a good look for Shakari Richardson. So finally, let's take a look at the, the, the super big gun out of all these big guns. And that's, of course, is Elaine thompson the world's fastest woman alive, second fastest all time. Now, she surprised everyone turning up at the National Stadium to run at the Jubilee Series 2.1. Nobody anticipated this. She had, she had actually pulled out of the Birmingham Diamond League because of a shoulder injury, but turned up and ran a spiffy 11.35 in the heats. Returning to run 10.94 in the finals. Elaine Thompson, who is suffering from a shoulder injury and who admits to not being 100%, looked extremely good running that 10.94. But of course, we have to concede that compared to all the other races that we just looked at, those um, conditions were ideal. Should at the National Stadium, it was nice and warm and not too windy. So she, she of all the persons there, had the best um, conditions under which to run. And now, conditions now are also an important thing first of all i'm not sure that we're going to have a very fast time because a it's very early in the season none of these athletes are going to be showing their hand yet so to speak but they might be tempted to test themselves it eugene um does have a very fast track uh but the other reason why i don't think we're going to have the fastest time is because the weather is supposed to well it is it is believed that the weather is going to be atrocious it's just not going to be the greatest weather and um i would say number three uh based on the times that we are seeing and i mean I, you know i i i shouldn't even say this because again three of these athletes meaning asha smith jackson and um of course shikari richardson were running under really difficult weather conditions so I, it's kind of hard to say but I do not anticipate a fast time, but I do anticipate uh, a very robust and a very competitive race. I actually am anticipating that. And if any of these ladies, uh, especially Sharika Jackson, if Sharika Jackson pushes Elaine, then we might end up getting a sub-11 race. Let's see. So that's just my opinion. I really want to know what your thoughts are. Do you agree with me? Do you think that we're going to have a fast race? Should we anticipate fast times in Eugene? My answer is I doubt it. You know, But I really want to know your thoughts. You're all very learned. So I'd love to know what you think. But I expect an exciting race nonetheless. So let's take a quick look at some of your recent comments. Referencing Elaine Thompson Hera, Tony Gordon said, Who is she signed to? Still haven't heard of this big money deal. No show in Birmingham. She will pay dearly, like her situation now. Running with no deal. Let's see what happens end of June. Nike, six months. First refusal will be up. Uh, no one has to mash her up. She and her team doing a great job at that. Whoa, whoa, Tony. Whoa. All right.
Uh, Burris Ford wrote regarding Sharika Jackson. Sharika, Merlin Otte Jackson again. Sharika hasn't learned how to win. My favorite athlete, but I'm still not sure if she has if she has the ambition to win. I think that psychologically she accepts placing third. This comment references the recent Birmingham Diamond League race. Um, O'Neill Bedward says this this is a very slow race sharika is holding up her head too quick and i don't really see dina asher smith getting a medal in a strong uh 100 meters that's 100 meters lineup she's just a normal performer and referencing shikari richardson the mark robertson said i'm just tired of the name and the boosting ain't nothing happening she's sucking the media getting paid when it's all said and done she can't do anything with shelly elaine or shikari or Sharika, why doesn't she come with it? And I definitely don't believe 10.3 or any any of the above hit the track and show us. So kings and queens, keep your comments coming. So let me know what you think. Do you think we're going to see fast times in Eugene, Oregon? Now don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow here at Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead and hit the notification bell. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And please, please leave a comment. You are kings and queens. Bless up.